Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my presentation. Firstly, I would like to thank Sir Niaz for giving me this opportunity and it's my pleasure to introduce myself. I am Madhya Mahboob, student of Amphil Microbiology from Kohat University of Science and Technology. Today, I'm going to discuss a topic which is taken from the research paper, Dishwashing Sponges and Brushes, Consumer Practices and Bacterial Growth and Survival. These are the contents of my presentation, which include introduction, objectives, materials and methods, results and discussions, conclusions, and at the end, references. This is the research paper that I'm going to discuss today. This is taken from the International Journal of Food Microbiology. Let's start with the introduction. Sponges are frequently used in kitchens than brushes and have been shown a large number of bacteria, occasionally also pathogens. Pathogens like Salmonella and Campylobacter species. The use of the sponges and brushes was studied in a survey in 10 European countries, which include Denmark, France, Norway, Portugal, Romania, UK, Hungary, Spain, Greece, and Japan. Growth and the survival of bacteria were examined in laboratory experiments. Sponges were the preferred for washing up of utensils in majority of the countries. Brushes were most frequently used in Denmark and Norway. The water uptake and drying rate varied considerably both between sponges and brushes. Cleaning or disinfection of cleaning utensils may be a way to control contamination. These are the objectives of my presentation to examine the risk-reducing advice to consumer, usage of sponges and brushes, their water uptake and drying capability, to examine the growth and survival of pathogenic and other kitchen-related bacteria, tested the effect of different cleaning methods for the utensils, Next, materials and methods. A cross-national survey was conducted in 10 European countries. The countries' names were mentioned in previous slide. The survey included modules on hygiene and food handling practices for diverse food categories and socio-demographic questions. In this survey, Questions related to washing up of dishes and cleaning utensils in kitchen. The bacterial strains that were used in this study are listed in the given figure below. The bacterial species include are Cocoria species, Moraxelia osculensis, Sodomonas species, Cephalococcus species, Cirrhicia liquefaciens, Salmonella species, and Campylobacter species. Representative of the dominant bacterial genera among the isolates were selected for the further study. All the bacterial strain were identified by the 16S ribosomal DNA sequencing. This 16S ribosomal DNA sequencing is basically used 
for identification of closely related bacteria. All the strain were maintained in 20% glycerol at minus 80 degree centigrade for preservation. Here we discuss Campylobacter and Salmonella only. Frozen stocks of Campylobacter strains were streaked on modified charcoal cifroprozone deoxyclate agar growth at 37 degree centigrade under microaerophilic conditions. Microaerophilic conditions are that conditions in which the bacteria can survive at low level of oxygen than the oxygen present in atmosphere. Strain work culture in two step in Mueller Hinton broth incubated at 37 degrees centigrade with 150 revolution per minute agitation or night. This agitation is basically done for mixing. Salmonella was cultured on Tripton soy agar followed by intriptic soy broth. Characteristic of three sponges and brushes were tested randomly. Three sponges and brush were inoculated in suspension mixture of Salmonella and Campylobacter which are pathogenic in nature, isolated from the kitchen. Enumeration of bacteria was performed by spread plating on PCA plate counting agar at 30 degrees centigrade for two days. Xylose lysine deoxyclate is for salmonella species and modified charcoal cifoprozone deoxyclate agar for campylobacter species. Evaluation of cleaning methods for sponges and brushes, the efficacy of different cleaning methods for eliminating bacteria on sponges and brushes, that which cleaning methods are effective like microwave oven treatment, chlorine treatment, detergent washing. These were inoculated with bacteria and food soil stored for one week. Unsoiled sponges and brushes were included as control. Three parallel cleaning utensils were subjected to each treatment. Table two shows that the cleaning methods of sponges and brushes. These are the different cleaning methods of sponges and brushes. First one, new product washed with detergent, which act as untreated control. Next one, washed in detergent water, followed by drying. Microwave oven treatment, boiling treatment, chlorine treatment, dishwashing machine treatment. Among them, chlorine treatment is most effective. Results and discussion. Survey was conducted on 9,966 household, showed different cleaning methods, dishwasher, usage varied in correlation with household equipment. 57% of the household are equipped with dishwasher. Usage prevalence varies between Norway 69%, Germany 59%, UK 31%, Hungary 24%, and at the end, Romania 10%. On the average, the use of the sponges was 2.5 times higher than the use of the brushes. Figure 1 shows that the choice of cleaning utensils for washing the dishes in 10 European countries based 
on a web-based survey with 9,966 respondents. Numbers shown are percentage of respondents. Typically, how do you wash up or clean dirty dishes? The first one is washing up with sponges. Among 10 countries, the percentage were 35.9%. Next one, washing up in dishwasher, whose percentage were 44.2%. The next one, washing with cloth, whose percentage were 7.7%. .7 and at the end the fourth one washing up with brush whose percentage were 14.1 percent this figure also shows that in 10 countries the most common used method is washing up in dishwasher growth and survival of bacteria in sponges and brushes growth and survival of kitchen-related bacteria study in three sponges and one type of brush. The lowest bacterial number were found in brushes as compared to sponges. Why? Because the brushes dried very fast as compared to sponges and died off all type of bacteria. Both Campylobacter and Salmonella which are pathogenic in nature, found in used sponges and cloths. Cleaning of sponges and brushes may be alternative to replace them with new items. The cleaning methods could be ranked on from least to most effective one. Chlorine method is most effective than dishwashing and boiling which is more effective than washing in detergent water followed by drying, which is more effective than microwave oven treatment and which is more effective than no washing procedure. Figure two shows that the fact of treatment of sponges and brushes on total bacteria compared with untreated control immediately after treatment and after addition of food soil or salmonella after cleaning treatment followed by humid incubation for two days. The graph A showed the result after first day of humid incubation of cleaning method and the graph B shows the result after second day of humid incubation of cleaning method. This graph also showed that the effectiveness of cleaning method, among them, chlorine method is most effective than boiling method, dishwashing machine method, detergent water followed by drying method, simple detergent water, and microwave oven treatment. These are the conclusions of my presentation. Use brushes rather than sponges for dishwashing because brushes are more hygienic than sponges. Brushes dried very fast as compared to sponges and died of all type of bacteria. Hands will not be contaminated when using brushes because pathogens are not transferred. Use paper or single use wipes for raw food spill in high risk situations. Clean sponges and brushes with chlorine, dishwashing machine or boiling. These are the effective methods of cleaning sponges and brushes. At the end, these are the some references of my presentation. Thanks for watching and listening. If you want to ask any question,
you can ask to my gmail account thanks once again for listening and watching my presentation